Here we are halfway through the season. We're not even close to our 5,000 ounce goal. Klondike legend Tony Beats has been mining 11 weeks, banking just over a thousand ounces of gold. But he isn't happy. We better start getting after it a bit and uh, start producing a little bit more. It is a very, very good thing that we get two cuts on the gold. Tony's chasing Paradise Hill's elusive white channel pay streak in two of his deepest cuts. The six acre blue cut and the nine acre cold cut. But over the last six weeks, he's had to bow to mother nature, losing precious sluice time, waiting for permafrost pay dirt to thaw. We're back at the cold cut here, but that is still a Use some of the pay dirt that is still sitting down there. Seems to be all thawed, so now we can keep on sluicing. We get a night shift crew together and get running 24 hours a day. To make up for lost time, Tony plans to double his production and sluice day and night for the first time this season. To man the night crew, three Greenhorn truck drivers have been drafted in. We got a bunch of new faces, a bunch of young fellas. Oh, I'm just loving it. I love the rock trucking. It's a pretty sweet spot, man. I'm, uh, I'm excited for the season. It's really great over here. Trying to work up the ladder. I hope I can work in the yard and maybe learn some mechanics. Really excited to see some actual gold right out the ground. It'd be a lot different than just seeing it on jewelry. And before they're thrown into the night shift, the rookies must prove they have the qualities Tony's looking for. We have to train them. And I mean, that is like green. They don't have a clue. If they work and they have a half a brain, they have ambition, they can get a little bit of training in just about anything. They can be starting mechanicing, welding, this, that. If they were really into it, they could find a direction here that would carry them through life. I worked for the Beats first year of mining when I was 19, and then I went and did some other things, and then I worked for Parker, and then I came back to Tony last year. As an apprentice turned trusted worker, Megan Godet is in charge of training the Greenhorns. We had quite a few new faces last year. A lot of them didn't last, so hopefully these new guys will have what it takes and can last out the season. I'm at the plant right now. So don't go forward it or anything, but start being more efficient, please. We really gotta get going. Tony needs each greenhorn to haul 15 loads an hour to the wash plant. We are only getting maybe eight to 10, so we've really got to step it up and get moving, okay, guys? Yes, sir, sounds good, man. I have to keep a good pace going to keep up with Megan. I fix tomorrow what you can fix today. Machines run and last way better when you take care of them, so a little bit of love goes a long way. Back at the yard, lead mechanic Kevin Beats is servicing the trucks needed for the Paradise Hill Blitz. And the is truck number four. Okay, everybody listen, everybody listen. Truck number four is broken and overheating. Who's driving it? Thomas is running it. Thomas? Who signed the tag on that truck? Who signed the lockout tag? I don't know. Can you check? Or is it not signed? Because those are two very different things. Yeah, it's not signed, sorry. OK, specifics, folks. They matter. People don't listen and they're not that bright. That's the whole story right there. Oh, boy. Kevin uses lockout tags 
to indicate machines that need to be fixed before being used. It's a rookie mistake Thomas might not recover from. I don't think I was very happy. I just seen him flying down the hall road. I was getting on that truck, but I seen the lockout tag out, and I didn't get on it. Yeah, when you take a take a truck with a lockout tag, that's a pretty big because you can up really quick. Thomas risked a blown engine driving the stricken truck. Tony, Tony. Back up. And now, Tony has found out. What a Every company looks for guys that are on the ball, because on the end of the day, a company is only as good as the people it employs. But you know what? We got young fellas, so we'll just have to be a little bit ruder and explain to them how that works around here. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Hopefully, he can get back in the truck, or we're going to be short on trucks again. Oh, you get in the truck, get the back out. Sorry? You get in the truck, get the out. Okay. 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 Then I have to go. Should have paid attention. Because if it was something else and that list to keep driving around, they blow a engine on you. It's that simple. Tony has given Thomas a second chance to prove himself. This time, in a signed out and fully serviced rock truck. Some of them drivers, they're not mechanically inclined. So you gotta get on the case and they gotta listen. Thomas back in the cut, the Greenhorns are a full squad again. The more trucks, the better. We are all trying to do our best as fast as possible. like they build up the PayPal. At the end of their shift, the Greenhorns have hit Tony's 15 load an hour target. I mean, we always have our challenges with these new operators. They seem to figure it out. It's nice to see these new drivers available to keep up, you know, bringing the pay in and to work with Megan. I mean, that's what it takes, it's teamwork that gets it on the go. So yeah, no, they did pretty good. I'm Parker Schnabel and you're watching Discovery Australia. Hit subscribe now to not miss out on any Gold Rush content.